hey, Ross World, my money makes money. You asked for it over and over again. Many subscribers has asked me to do a review on this one particular robo advisor, M1 Finance. So excuse me as I look over to my left or your right, I'll be going off some of my notes so I give you the bitter details that you want in order for you to think if it's a good investment. Minimal investments with M1 Finance, zero, donut, zilch, nada, okay? A, a hula hoop, a fruit loop. I'm running out of acronyms, guys. And the different accounts they have, they have taxable traditional RAs, SCP, IRAs. And if some of you out there don't know what SCP means, that means self-employment, individual retirement account. That's the IRA part. They have joint accounts, rollover IRAs. That means if you have another IRA, you can roll over into that one. They have trust. And we all know about KISS Trust, the affordable trust for the modern day man, middle class, and even lower class, looking to K-I-S-S -S Trust. So you're gonna get all the little nuggets of information inside this one video about M1 Finance. And then our RIRA, whoo, hot. Moving right along. So you're trying to figure out, and don't forget I said the minimum amount to invest is zero dollars. But what you wanna know is this, how does it compare to the big leagues? How does it compare to Betterment and Wellfront? And I invest with Wellfront. I like Wellfront. I started off to invest with Betterment, but I backed off. I looked at the fees and I thought that Wellfront was a better choice for me. Now, granted, Betterment is still a great entity for you to look into. And I did um, a couple of videos on both Wellfront and Betterment. Back to M1 Finance. Now, when I looked around to the internet, I looked at three to four sources of reviews. Then also I went in and I looked at their, you know, the information on how they conduct business. Now, in my opinion already, but once again, it may work for you better than me. I like Betterment and Wellfront. So if I had to rank them, it would be Wellfront, number one, Betterment, number two, and M1 Finance, number three. And here's why. Now, as I said before, they're not bad but they're not, in my opinion, as good as the other two mentioned. Minimum investment with Betterment and M1 Finance is zero. The minimum investment with Wellfront is $500. I kind of like that because it made me invest that $500. So bam, I already have $500 investing, okay? And I'm going to leave it alone, depending on what account you have. When it comes to fees, this is where M1 Finance really trump up the other two, because they don't have any fees, okay? They don't have any fees. Betterment, you know, they have the 0 0.25 fee, and then it goes up as you make more money. And then with Wellfront, okay, with Wellfront, your first 10,000 is managed for free. Don't forget, your first investment is 500 or more, but the first 10,000 is managed for free, or you can look down in the description, and you will use my code, will give you an extra $5,000 that will manage. So it'll be a total of $15,000. Now, promotion. You can invest for free using one of M1 Finance promotions. With Betterment, you can invest up to one year free. And then, of course, with a promotion with Wellfront, $15,000 free. And I'm not going to get on Wellfront, but they got tax harvesting and all this stuff. Yeah, I'm not making a Wellfront video. <laughs> All right, so moving right along, guys. So I give you the nuggets. I'm not going to make it a long video because I want you to make the decision on your own. And this is another thing. You may want to research on your own, but I did the research for you. You're lazy. Anyway, just like any other trading window, they have the same trading window as anyone else. Dividends, those delicious dividends, they are automatically reinvested back into your portfolio once it reaches at least $10, okay? Once it reaches $10, your dividends will be automatically reinvested inside your portfolio. Now, the great thing I like about this, here's another good nugget for M1 Finance. Like, like I said, they're not bad, they're pretty good, but I just believe that the other two are better. Now, when it comes to taxes, their system actually integrates with TurboTax and H&R Block. TurboTax, H&R Block. So it kind of makes that process of reporting your taxes seamless 
where with the other two, you have to wait for a 1099 DIV. I think that is the ending. Okay, so anyway, these are also great entities and they also offer free consultation. So you call in, you make an appointment and they'll talk to you. Okay, got it. Also, M1 Finance has 2,000 ETFs available for you to choose from. So Vanguard, Charles Schwab, iShares, etc. You heard me say these before. So those are all good. And they have preferred stocks. They're kind of excluded from the list. But nevertheless, the, the other ones are on the New York Stock Exchange and also the NASDAQ. Okay. They have account protection. The SIP covers up to 500000 including a quarter of a million in cash against broker failure. So that is just a quick video on N1 Finance. I hope that you find it helpful. Now, if you want to look more into Wealthfront, just type in on the YouTube, Roswell, Roswell, <laughs> Roswell, Ross World Wealthfront, and you will see my other Wealthfront videos if that's something you want to get into. But when you're talking about zero fees, zero fees, and one finance is not that bad. Now, if you want to go into more extensive research, you may have a lot of questions. I just gave you the meat and potatoes in order for you to make a decision. Now, now granted, there's other things that I failed to mention, okay? Because they have different investment categories. They have general investments. They have plan for retirement. They have responsible investing, uh, income earners, hedge fund followers, industries and sectors, just stocks and bonds, other strategies. So I didn't go over all of that because I believe if you want to really invest with a unit, I'll give you the general information. And sometimes I get into details, but I really want you to go out there and scour the internet because maybe zero fees is not what you're looking for when it comes to profitability and growth in your portfolio. Now, granted, they have a lot of great features, but are they going to offer the same features as Betterment, as Wellfront with tax harvesting and this and that? But it's up to you. And you can learn all about that on Ross World. Once again, the information for Wellfront is in the description. Sorry, I don't have anything for Betterment or M1 Finance. But nevertheless, you have the information. Now, go do a little bit of your research. This is Ross World. I'm out.